Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tristan Barracks here with another episode of Cinecut. On today's show, we're gonna be answering a question from a viewer and a fellow YouTuber, Sanda Seso. What are the best lenses for low lighting and all around shooting? I do mainly YouTube videos and help out with video and photos at my church. So I don't want to have a lens that's just for one specific purpose. I was told that I would need to get a 50 or a 35 millimeter lens to upgrade from my kit lens. Explaining that process would help out a lot, thanks. Now, before I make any sort of recommendation for a lens for you to purchase, I think it's really important for us to go through the basics of lenses. And that always starts and ends with aperture. What? Now, if you're not familiar with the term aperture, simply put, it's the hole that allows light to travel through your lens and hit your sensor, which in turn gives you lighter or darker images, depending on what you need. The reason why it's so important to understand what aperture is, is because it affects the cost, the quality, and the end product of whatever you create. Now, if you ever picked up your lens and looked at it, you might see some numbers on the side, and you might see one in particular that says F 2.8, f2.1, and that right there is your f-stop measurement. The reason why your f-stop measurement is so important is because it tells you how much light can actually travel through your lens. It's okay. Here's a quick tip. When you're looking for a lens, remember that the higher the f-stop number is, the less light can travel through that lens. Whereas the lower the f-stop number is, the more light can travel through that lens. Historically, prime lenses, like the 50 millimeter that I'm holding here, have always been better at drawing light into the sensor than let's say a zoom lens like I have here, which only has an f-stop of f4. But the advantage of the zoom lens over the prime lens is that I have a lot of different focal lengths. So I can go from 24, 35, 50, 85, 100 to 105, all with one lens, whereas my 50 millimeter will give me crisp, clean, beautiful looking images, but only at that 50 millimeter focal point. So in conclusion, it really comes down to your core needs. What are you doing with your camera? Are you shooting photos? Are you shooting video? Are you shooting both? Are you running and gunning? I mean, that will dictate whether or not you go with a zoom or a prime lens. In my opinion, I would start out with a zoom lens like a 24 to 105 or a 24 to 70 because it gives you more flexibility in terms of starting out. Whereas if you already have a couple of lenses within your kit, then you can go with a prime, like let's say a 1.8 50 millimeter or a 35 millimeter 1.8 or even an 85 millimeter. Try out different lenses. Don't be afraid to even rent or borrow from friends before you start purchasing and making big investments. Well, that's it for another episode of Cinecut. I hope you liked it and you learned something too. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Peace out.